Hey guys, it's Jenny Sophia from the Minecraft Workbench community, and uh, we are in a very, very, very different world today. This is my original single player world, and um, I've got this set on peaceful, uh, so I can record through the night. Um, and we're just basically going to give a tour here. This might be broken up into a couple parts because uh, it's probably going to take a little while. But uh, this is it. Um, this is where my Minecraft experience all began, and I spawned on this little beach here. Uh, first thing I did was came up this cliff side here. And I believe I carved this out at some point. This wasn't natural. Um, but I came up this hill here and I settled right up here and created my very first structure in Minecraft, I believe. Uh, it's not a Pueblo. It actually kind of morphed into something that looked like one. Um, this is my cliff house and this was all exposed. There was no wall around this place. Um, so I spent the first few nights in, in here, and I think the wall went to about right here. I never knocked out this wall until later. I set up my little base camp right here and some windows and started digging. The first night I just started digging. and uh, So I dug back to, um, made some tunnels back here. Uh, this view is pretty cool. It overlooks the uh, little valley that's down there. And over here I've got some flowing water that I tapped into, but I never explored it. And back here, uh, there's like a cavern in there, kind of, you can see a little bit. I think I may have, oh, this goes up to surface level, I believe. Or no, this goes into the cavern area, I guess. Yeah. So partially unexplored stuff here. Um, and the little cliff house is right through there. So we'll block this off again. Um... There was some coal down here initially. I found some coal. Um, never did anything with this pathway there. But I did some, some tunneling back through here and um, didn't really go anywhere with it. It just kind of was tunneling through a mountain just to see what I could find. Uh, this is all like really beginner stuff for me. Um, just kind of went wherever I felt like it. Created a little side door over here uh, where I would fight mobs on occasion. Um, this place is pretty cool. They've had a creeper blow up here at one point, but um, yeah, so this is like kind of my front yard here. There's a desert that way. Uh, as you can see, it starts to get a lot sandier as you go. Um, so yeah, this is basically where I, where I hold up for the first night, and um, I think I have this door on backwards, actually. But this provided me with some shelter. Um, yeah, there we go. Wow. I didn't even fix that yet. Um, so this provided me with my first shelter for a long, long time. Um, I th this is my first egg that I found. I didn't know what to do with it. There wasn't anything you could do with it. So I just placed it in this chest. And uh, I've kept it ever since. I don't know why. I just haven't used it for anything. Um, but we can add to the little the chest here. Got some emergency meat. Um... And then from then on, there were some trees out here, which I ended up cutting down. But I basically made a, um, a little fortress kind of out of this place. Uh, so I've got walls you can walk up here. And of course at night, all the, all the mobs come out, from, they come out from all over this place and try and attack me. And they usually get stuck down there. Um, oh, and uh, let's see. Um... Up there, it's hard to get to. You have to go up uh, this way. But you can uh, look out over here. And this is before I have realized that building with dirt was a bad idea. So <laughs> everything you see here is built with dirt. And um, you know the walls are made of dirt. It's probably not the best idea. But hey, it served its purpose for a while um, until I moved to... The beautiful castle, well not so beautiful probably anymore, I thought it was beautiful at the time. My castle, which is down there, and I have a large bridge. Um, so there's a couple of different ways actually to get there. Um, I'm going to show you each way here. So this is the cliff house, and uh, this is a special, holds a special place in my heart because it's, uh, it's where it all began. So through here uh, is a little archway that I created uh, for protection and things like that. Um, and actually, I don't think you can get into this structure here. No, you can't. Um, this is just a outer structure. 
The only way to get through to here is up that ladder, so we gotta go down. So, to get to this, access this bridge, you can only do it through the cliff house. Oh, well, hello there. Let's go put this away. Alright. So, to access the bridge, you come down here. Um, now, there's two ways to get there. You can go to, go down this pathway there. Or you can follow the signs to, to Chimney Castle. And this will bring you underground. This is kind of cool. Actually, there's a pathway. See, there's two cliff houses up there. I, I was really good about um, putting signs and stuff in this uh, in this world and signing everything off. I think there's an exit. Yeah, there's an exit over here. And that goes out into the valley where that water was right there. So earlier you saw, uh, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little hole uh, right, right, right over there. Uh, that's where we poked our head out earlier in the uh, cliff house, uh, the cliff house mines. So if we come down, basically the stairway is right here. And if you come down the stairway like we did, and you walk through here, there is a, um, you'll first you'll notice a raw bay exit. And this is just a raw exit to the bay, no doors and nothing um, or anything. And um, you can swim over there if you want, or you can take the lovely crafted sky bridge. And uh, to do that, you go up the ladder here. And this is inside the little structure I was talking to you guys about here. And we've got double doors that open up into uh, the outside where we go to our bridge. Now, this is a little like halfway house here along the bridge. Um, and it's kind of like a little lookout tower uh, to see the world. I spawned in a pretty cool world, I think. Um, open ocean uh, right away. Haven't done too much exploring out like that way or anything. I've done a little bit. Um, but it's got a great view of the sunset. And. Um, and uh, so this is like my bay, pretty much. And uh, so we can go down here and finish, go across the rest of the uh, the bridge here. Now, um, I wanted to just to say that this castle here was the second place that I lived at. So I settled on this beach, uh, and I'll show you guys that. Uh, we can go up to the top floor here of the castle, and I'll show you kind of what that looks like. Um, so I settled on this beach here. There's like a lot of gravel right there, um, and this beach. Uh, that was that sandbar there was not natural. I made that and trying to get across and failed and quit. Um, but I settled on this beach uh, initially uh, after moving from the cliff house, and this is where I created my mini castle here. So I've got a little fireplace here, which isn't working anymore because in the last update, uh, anything that was burning wood um, would burn away completely instead of just burning for a long period of time. So there's, this is different floors to it. Um, and this is where I lived for a very long time. So I created some murder holes here, uh, as seen in Paul Storrs Jr.'s videos. Um, and I've got a working door there. I never did the double doors to the redstone. I've got a reed farm here. Um, this lava thing over here is... Um, Basically, just an extension to my uh, little like portico thingamajig there, and I, just for decoration. I don't really know. There was a little river flowing through here, uh, which I sort of preserved, uh, kind of over here, but not not much. Um, this is my greenhouse, and it's got uh, a bunch of wheat in it, and some glass missing apparently, which is odd. But um, this is my wheat farm that I created, and out here it just goes over to open water, basically. And um, let's see, got a tree over there, got some lights up here. It's nothing too special in the front. Uh, but you do get into the different, I have different exits to this. And actually, back up here, I was going to build a fortress up on this hill here, which is this cobblestone structure here. Um, I ended up putting a portal on it instead, which I actually, it's not, that's not the portal that I used to go to the nether, but I will go to the nether to show you guys what my. Um, my nether fortress looked like. And I'll be showing you guys how to make one in the uh, in an upcoming Minecraft Files episode. So, um, there's a side door here. We'll go through the main door. And so this is my 
kind of lobby, I guess. There's a side exit here, which we saw a minute ago. That just exits the side. Um, I walled this off to stay protected from creepers and naughty things like that. Um, we got some more murder holes down here. Um, a chest full of a bunch of nether stuff, a bunch of nether rack and soul sand and glowstone dust and stuff like that. Uh, through here is my portal to the nether, which I'll venture into later. Uh, I've got a large furnace wall here where I do my cooking. And in here I have my pantry, which has tons of bread in it, fish, wheat, cooked pork chops, mushroom stew. Uh, over here I've got not much. And oh, my cake ingredients are in this one. So yeah, cake supplies are right here. Um, and just a little light there, I guess. So that's my pantry. Um, now over here is the exit to the bay. And this exits outside uh, the walls, basically. So that's one way to get outside. Uh, this is just my incinerator when I want to throw stuff away. Uh, give it a toss into uh, into there. Um, back here is uh, my shower. So I have a little a little shower here uh, with a little you know, bench seating right here like you'd see in a locker room and um, you can take a shower in here. Actually it's kind of secret. You can swim up here as well and um, you can check this area out. If you go up to the top here you can go outside like this and this exits out onto uh... oh boy apparently there's a trap, I don't know it's not supposed to be a trap uh... this exits out onto the bay as well so that was the bay exit you saw earlier and uh... let's probably light this up a little bit so you guys can see and this is basically free world so um... if we go back down into the shower room here. A little secret entrance, I guess. That's one way of looking at it. Um, through here is are my mines. And these are where I first did my mining. Um, down here is the uh, caution. This is the magma mine. And um, all the way down here is where I first found lava. Um, Mine is just kind of annoying to go down. Didn't find too much stuff down here. I, I did find the first time I found redstone was down here. Um, I had no idea what it was, and I didn't have the right tools to get it, or the right tools to get it. But uh, this is where I set up shop down here. So this is the first experience with lava that I had, and the redstone I found was right about in here. Um, so I've got some few supplies down here. Nothing cooking in there, and I, I did find diamond. Uh, first found diamond uh, up on the ceiling right there. That was the first time I found diamond. Um, found some obsidian down here as well. And this is the obsidian that I got out to make the portals to the nether that I have. Um, so spent a good good bit of time down here uh, as well, and uh, kind of kicked off my initial love for for mining in the game. Um, so we'll head on back up. If we can get up the stairs. I never really took the time to make these actual staircase, so you do have to jump. So sorry if I make you guys nauseous. <laughs> Basically I just cut I just cut through the wall here and just started digging down and just randomly wanted to go somewhere. I had no idea where I was going and found that, so. Um what's over here? So I've got little little pockets of mines all over throughout here pretty much. Um not sure where this is gonna take me out. Oh, okay, yeah, so this is the other exit. So we came in through here. Um so that's pretty much it for the base. Uh the castle at least. It's not anything too glamorous, uh, but it worked. It was functional for a long time. Now down below here is my minecart station. So we actually go under the water here, which is really cool. Um and I'm actually going to go back up uh, real quick to um, show you guys what that looks like from the night sky, like in the night, um, and viewing that from the night sky, because um, it looks really, really neat, I think. So if you were to look at this, um, oh, whoops, you got to go to the um, halfway house on the bridge here. 
to view the underwater the underwater viewing area of the tunnel. So as you can see, uh, the minecart track goes down through there, and um, I think it looks pretty cool.